Got a video today to show you how to fit our door handle covers on the Range Rover L322. Um, we've got one in the workshop today, um, and this has got really terrible door handles. It's really quite a nice, genuine car we've got here. It's got loads of service history, um, but the uh, the door handles, as on most of them, do take a bit of a pasting. You can see the paint's virtually totally come off there. So, what do we need to do? Right. Well, one thing you need to do is um, you can have them in a choice of chrome or body colour. If you're going to go to body colour, if you come into your engine bay and look behind your um, windscreen washer bottle, you will have, and when we get this right so we can see it, there you go, you see you've got there the colour code, so you've got the Land Rover colour code, this is LRC849, and then you've also got there the colour, Cairns Blue. So we're going to fit the door handle covers on this Cairns Blue car. Right, one more thing, right, so this is what you get in the pack. So you get, it's a nine piece door handle kit. So these are painted, as I say, we do them in chrome. They come with the double sided tape pre-applied there. Now one thing you'll notice is there are nine pieces in the kit. So obviously it's quite easy, the long bit has the long bit of the door handle, the short bit does the short bit. The trick here is you've got a choice on the driver's door whether you want to keep the keyhole now this depends what year you've got 2010 on didn't have the keyhole or whether you want to cover it over for extra security but obviously the issue there is if you get a flat battery um, and you need to open the car with a key you'll have to pull that cover back off again but you can keep this one as spare if that happens um, so that's what you've got there you've got the choice so make sure you're going to decide whether you're going to cover over the keyhole or keep the keyhole exposed right now i'll pass over to kate the other thing you get in the pack is one of these adhesive wipes so this is an alcohol wipe so often your car's been validated and polished and had back to black and goodness knows what hand cream um, which is actually what kills the door handle it's um, hand cream people's hand cream um, eats away at the stuff uh, the paint Right, so it's an alcohol wipe, so we're just going to degrease all the contamination just to help it stick better. Now the double-sided tape should be sufficient to stick it. We've never had a problem with the double-sided tape. But if you're super keen, you can uh, put a little dab of silicon adhesive on as well. Um, there we go. So clean all four. We'll just clean the two for speed today. Right then. And then it's just a question of removing the backing strip. I should have pre-prepped these before doing the video, sorry. There we go, remove the backing strip off that one. And the other one. Well, didn't do too bad. Okay, right, now when you fit them, you wanna, it's actually a good idea to trial fit them before you get to this stage, I should have done that. So before you take the adhesive off, um, just trial fit them to check you're happy with the location so it's key that you push the door handle cover as much that way as you can so I'm going to start right at that back corner there okay and keep it pushed towards the main handle there okay that's that bit done and then I'm doing this for Pete today and Pete's Pete's quite happy to keep his keel there in case his battery goes flat he doesn't use this one every day, this is only for high days and holidays, this one. So let's just, there we go, whip the, so again, we're going to start at this back corner, okay, get that back corner in place, and then just pivot that around. And we'll do that for the others, but that's the finished look. 